Hello and welcome to SAS Guru. In this video, we will upload files extracted from the loyalty management system into the AWS S3 bucket. Then, we will establish a connection between Salesforce Data Cloud and AWS S3 and then import these files into the data cloud. The first file is going to be about customers. The file is an AWS S3 customer CSV file. It has a customer ID, which is a unique identifier for the customer, including salutation, first name, last name, mobile phone, customer reward number, passport number, customer primary email address, and customer alternate email address. So here the customer has two identifiers and two email addresses. Then, we are going to look at the product file. There are six products, product name, product category, product subcategory, product ID, and product price. And these products are ordered in the order line item. So each order line item record has its own identifier, which is order product ID. Then it rolls up into an order ID. Then there is a product ID reference, quantity of product ordered, subtotal and date and time when this order was placed. Then all these order line items roll up to the order, so that is the fourth and the final file, which is order header file. Here you have an order ID and a customer ID, date and time of that order, order status, total amount, and loyalty points accrued. So these are the four files we will upload to the bucket we created in the previous steps. So let's go back to the AWS console, where we are going to look at S3 service. Here, we'll look into the SAS Guru Bootcamp bucket. We are going to upload the files. Click on Upload. Now click on Add Files. Locate and select the files that you want to upload. Select all of them and click Upload. Scroll down to check the destination info, which is the SAS Guru Bootcamp bucket. Click Upload. The files are uploaded. After the files are uploaded to the AWS S3 bucket, let's start importing them into the data cloud. First, we have to set up a connection from the data cloud to AWS S3. For that, go to Setup, choose Data Cloud Setup. In the left menu, look for more connections. There are no connections established. So click New. Select the source as AWS S3. Click Next. Give the connection a name, AWS S3 SAS Guru Bootcamp. That will be the name of the connection. After this, you have to give the key and the secret key that we noted when we created the user. Enter them in the related fields. Next, we have to provide the name of the bucket and the name of the root folder. The name of the bucket is SAS Guru Bootcamp Bucket. As for the folder, we have not any in this bucket, so it will be the root folder we will keep it as a default as slash. Now let us test this connection to validate the connection and credentials are correct. The connection is established. Click Save. After the connection is established between the data cloud and AWS S3, the next step is to create a data stream for all four files. AWS S3 customer, AWS S3 product, AWS S3 order header and AWS S3 order line. So go back to Data Cloud. Open the Data Cloud app and in the data stream, click New. This time, the source will be AWS S3. Notice that the source, AWS S3 appears now, which was not seen earlier because we have created the connection. Select it and click Next. The connection is AWS S3 SaaS Guru Bootcamp. We are going to import it from the root directory, and we are going to import each file one by one. So the first file is AWS S3 customer.csv. Let's copy that file name from the bucket and paste it in the file name. Source will be at AWS S3 SAS Guru Bootcamp. Click Next. This will create a data lake with this long name. So let's shorten it and call it an AWS S3 customers. The API name of the new data lake object will be AWS S3 Customers. It's customer data, so it's of category profile. The primary key will be the customer ID. All the fields are selected. 
The reward number is a number, mobile phone is number, everything else is text. Click Next. So the new data stream will be AWS S3 customers. Data space will be the default. In the refresh mode, we'll keep it default. So only new records will be inserted and existing records will be updated. It's a CSV file. This is the name of the file. We are going to keep the frequency at none. We will refresh this data manually so that the frequency will be none. Otherwise, we can have these different frequency options available. And once we click Deploy, the data stream will get refreshed immediately. So let us click Deploy. The deployment is in progress. Go back to the data stream. We are going to create a data stream for the remaining files in the same way. Again, click on New. AWS Amazon S3 is the source. This time, the file will be a product file. Copy this file name. Click Next. The object will be AWS S3 products. It will be a new data lake object. It's a list of products, so it's going to be other category. The primary key will be the product ID. Make sure all the fields are selected. The data type of product price is the number which is important. Everything else is text. Click Next. Keep the same options as the previous one. Click Deploy. That's the second file. The third file that we are going to load is the AWS S3 order header. Go to Data Stream, click New. The source will be Amazon S3. Click Next. The file name is AWS S3 order header.csv. Click Next. The new data lake object will be in AWS S3 order header. It's an engagement file with the event type as date time ordered, which is suggested as DDMMYYYY. We are going to ignore the time part of it because it is not needed. The primary key is the order ID. Click Next. Click Deploy. The fourth and final file is the AWS S3 order line. Let's create a new data stream. The source will be Amazon S3. The file name is AWS S3 order line. The data lake object is going to be the AWS S3 order line. It's engagement data again. The event time field is date time ordered, so we will go with the format or data type of date, DDMMYYYY, as suggested. The primary key will be the order product ID. Click Next and Deploy. Once the data streams are created, a batch process will start filling in the data lake objects. If the batch process has not started, you can click on this Refresh Now button, which will start it. And the process has started, 